Let me ask you a question. Would you put regular gas in your Ferrari 488 Spider? I didn't think so. It's the same thing with eating food and our body. Today, Reek is going to take you through what he eats in a day. Nothing like a good old morning routine to get your day started. Let's get right into it, man. See, I already know we staying hydrated throughout the day. You know we got to get that water in first thing in the morning. What's good with y'all boys, man? We back with another day in the life. And today, a lot of y'all been asking me, you know, Reek, what you be eating in a day? What's your diet like? So. I finna give y'all the whole rundown and hopefully this video can help you. We have a lot planned today. We got boxing, we gotta go to the grocery store. We gotta reply to some brands and different things like that. So we got a lot on our plate. No, no pun intended, no pun intended. So we got a lot on our plate, man. So we about to get going. So we about to get this quick breakfast in. Let's go. The most important meal of the day, breakfast. First things first, I wanna start off by saying in this video that I do not eat any fast food. To me, I just can't do it. It just hurts my stomach every time I eat fast food. And you know how them fast foods be, man. McDonald's, Burger King, all that stuff. All the poison they put in there. So I try to eat as clean as possible throughout the day, making sure I'm not eating nothing that's detrimental to my health. I definitely wouldn't say I'm the most perfect person when it comes to nutrition, but I always make sure I do a good job of making sure what's going into my body is good for me. Come on now, y'all see it. All right, y'all, so y'all see for breakfast, we just got some fruit, we got a little fruit bowl with some yogurt, and we got some tea. For me, fruit works for me in the morning. I don't like eating like a heavy breakfast because then I feel like if I had like eggs, pancakes, and stuff like that, I'm gonna be walking around and my stomach's gonna feel all heavy and stuff, and I don't wanna feel like that. So fruit, every morning, just stick to some fruit. Then, you know, we got the tea. Ginger tea has a bunch of different benefits, but I'm gonna leave it like right here so you guys can see. But yeah, man, I'll stick with some tea and some fruit in the morning before I work out, man. Got me feeling good, so you gotta dog this plate, man. Let's get it. And you know, we gotta thank God for blessing us with food. Yo, what's up from Shock Troop Fitness? Triple OG on deck. Triple OG on deck. That's what we do. That's you know what I mean? Do. Building a business. Every day it's a mission. Every day it's a mission. One step at a time. One step at a time. God damn, G. <laughs> nah, my dad's a clown. But as a personal trainer, he's helped a lot of people lose weight. From 70 pounds, 80 pounds. He's helped people get ripped. Whatever they need, he's got them. So I'm gonna have him share some wisdom on nutrition with y'all so y'all can get a better sense. Okay, so I guess I got this camera in my face to talk about nutrition. Uh, it's a 2080 split, like anything else, right? Some people wanna talk about the workout because the workout looks fun, it looks intense, and it looks like, all right, if I'm doing a workout, I'm gonna get in shape, I'm gonna get in shape. That couldn't be any more wrong. In order to get in shape, it really goes back to what you put in your mouth. So for me, on a daily basis, everything I do as far as my nutrition, meaning what I put in my body is either gonna give me gas, to work out or give me energy or it's gonna give me protein to help build my muscles. I don't want anything that's not gonna help build. So if I'm gonna eat a whole bunch of sugary products and a whole bunch of um, processed, foods. processed foods and whatnot, your body can't digest that. Your body has a hard time digesting it. And this is why you end up gaining weight because your body is having a hard time digesting foods that you constantly eat. If you're gonna gain weight, it's because you're eating food your body can't process. But if you're losing weight, that means your body is processing the food that you're eating and that's what's making you healthy. Working out in conjunction with good nutrition 
it's a 20-80 split. And that 20-80 split is 20% fitness, 80% nutrition. If I could follow my clients around and kick a whole bunch of food out of their hand. People think they can eat 80% bad and then go work out for 20% and make it work. It doesn't work. So that's nutrition from Shock True Fitness. Hey, I want to shout out the 75 Hard Challenge. One of my things was to learn a new skill, and I've been sticking with this since. You know we got to get that boxing in them hands right. As you can see right here, we're working on ducking. It's one thing to throw punches, but you got to be able to dodge them too. See, for me, learning boxing is like chess. It's challenging me to learn different things and acquire a different skill set than what I had before. Because if you mess up in boxing, you know you done. <sighs> Y'all could have pushed you and got a knockdown. I, 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 I could have just pushed you. Cause I ain't know. I ain't you also got to mentally tap in. Because when you start to get tired, you start to make mistakes like this. See how that happens? See now you're trying to speed through it, right? And like this. And this. See you, man. We got this Boston work in. Shock troop training, man. If I can't get, if I gotta get right, he gotta get right. And you know how this goes, Shock troop fitness. We can do it all. Fuck with those hands. Find out the hard way. Yeah, Fuck good. around and find out. Yeah, I see it. We ten toes down. Yeah, I see it. We standing on business. What else? Yo, all the cliches. On, all man. the cliches. Standing on business. Hard body. Yeah, hard, hard body. Big body. If you want this work, come check us out at shocktroopfit.com. Big shock troop, low shock Virtual troop. training, man. Virtual training. Virtual training. He's getting his boxing game on. I feel like he got somebody to punch in the face. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but the train is going right. So if you want to train with the big dogs, come check us out. Shocktroopfit.com. Mini shock troop himself. Peace. Hey, man. Good work. We feeling good? We get it. You got to love the journey, man. I'm not trying to be no professional boxer. But one thing I'm trying to do is learn a new art and push myself to another limit. I really feel like there's a whole world of things out there for us to try. And I want to be able to check off everything on that list. You already know what time it is, man. We about to cook up a protein shake. I like the protein shakes like my dad said, after workouts, get some protein in, give you that strength back. 24 grams of protein. Making sure you know we stay in arc. We staying right, man. Some good boxing work. We put in that pain, man. I think it's important to learn boxing just in case you want a situation where you gotta protect you and your family. So that's why I'm kind of like learning right now. And because, you know, you just wanna learn different skills and learn new things. Always keep the brain moving. So we about to make this protein shake, man. Let's get it. Y'all also know we got these protein balls, man. We snack on these throughout the day to make sure we, we getting right, we getting good, man. How you feel about the protein balls? Man, I love the protein balls. My balls are always good and they're the right size. So it's going to keep you full, keep your stomach engaged, and you're never going to be hungry once you get these balls. Hey, yo, man. Come Shout on. Shout out to Yo, hey, bad advertising. Yeah, so for lunch, I just have a protein shake with some protein balls. The protein shake is a meal replacement, so it fills you up pretty good. I see it, we got the shake on deck, man. Y'all know we gotta get this protein in, man. How y'all bustin', man? How y'all bustin', man? 
Y'all see it? This is just some um, vanilla and chocolate, man. Real simple flavor. I ain't add nothing extra. Vanilla and chocolate. All right, y'all, right now we are at Trader Joe's. You know, whenever sure you want to cook for me, man, I handle the groceries, man. So we about to go pick up a little stuff. So she sent me a little list. I'm finna see what's on here. So we got salmon, green beans, American cheese, ketchup. All right, so I guess that's what we eating. Salmon and cheese tonight. So yeah, man, we about to go pick some stuff up. Let's get to it. Oh, I got raspberries. Blueberries, we got the eggs in here, green beans, avocados, some salmon, some ketchup, we got some juice, we good. Bag is secure, man, bag is secure, let's get it. All right, y'all. Uh we at this nice venue right now. We about to get this Bible study work in real quick. You know, we always got to find a way to spend time with God, man. But I like to do it in nature. <laughs> it's looking nice, man. It's a nice day outside. It's usually cold, man, but it's not cold today. So feeling good. You know, usually this is where I come to go on a walk. You know, if I'm feeling down or anything, I'll just come here, go on a quick walk, clear my mind. It's just peaceful, man. You got the waterfall and you got the water, the nice scenery, so. Sometimes you just need to go outside and enjoy some nature, man. Some nature. Since this video is about like what I eat in the day, I just wanted to give you guys a quick verse. And this verse right here is what I feel like is a powerful verse that can help you, you know, whether you want to eat better, and why God says that, you know, we, we got to lock in on what we eating, man. So this verse is 1 Corinthians 6, 19 through 20. And it says, do you not know that our bodies are temples of the Holy Spirit who is in you, whom you have received from God? You are not your own. You are bought at a price. Therefore, honor God with your bodies. And this can mean a bunch of different things. But to me, this means that the bodies that we have is from God. It's like a car. You feel me? Our souls are just placed in this car. So. If we gonna have a body that God gives us, we have to treat it right. If your friend lets you borrow his lamb truck, are you gonna go around driving it crazy, doing a bunch of different bad stuff in it, going speeding and scratching the tires? Nah, you gonna treat that car the best way possible. So it's the same way how we gotta treat our bodies. We gotta treat our bodies like that lamb truck that our friend is giving us to borrow. That's just a quick verse to give you guys, man. Just finished up a quick little Bible study. As y'all see, we take some notes. Got the highlighter with me, a bunch of different things. To me, this is just peaceful. I gotta find a way to spend time with God, man. Every single day, I gotta spend time with God because what I notice is a lot of us, we spend more time on social media scrolling and doing a bunch of stuff than we do with God, man. And that was something that I was doing. I was spending more time just scrolling on social media, worrying about other things, rather than focusing on my journey with God and how I could get closer with God and how I could get better as a man. So. You can't tell me you ain't got like 30 minutes in a day to honor God, man. That's, he, he not even asking for much, you feel me? But we would rather spend our time on other things that don't really matter. And I noticed that's something that I was doing. So this a change I've been making within my life. So yeah, man, I feel good, man. We just got this Bible work in, we gone. Like I told y'all, this scenery type OD, man. It's looking pretty crazy, man. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. If I get, if I get 200 likes on this video, I'm gonna jump in this water. Yeah, all right. <laughs> it's nice and peaceful. Just relax, man. You know? Just relax out here. I see it. All right, y'all. We are now at the gym. We 
probably put in some quick pain, man. Get like an hour of some shooting work in. Just get some shots up. You know, I've been trying to stay consistent in the gym. And I promise y'all, I promise y'all. We're going to start dropping more basketball workouts on here, man. Because I want to get back in my basketball groove. So, more basketball workouts on here. Look, if y'all looking for any fitness and motivation, follow my new channel, STF Reek. We're going to be dropping on there, too. And if y'all want some more in-depth content from me, subscribe to the Patreon, man. We dropping all types of juicy content on there. So, make sure y'all boys stay tuned and stay right. But let's get this work. Y'all boys see we got the Kobe 8 Christmas on the feet today. Look, these are my favorite Kobe's, man. Kobe 8, so y'all know we getting crazy with these. We about to get this working, man. Y'all know what it is. I'm going to be real with y'all boys. I'm about to be dead today. Y'all already know we did some boxing work, and now we getting on the gun and getting some shots up. We about to get this shooting work out in. I really just came to get shots up, man. We're not really gonna do too much skill work, just get straight shots up. Nothing crazy. Get loose real quick, form food. Anytime I step in the gym, I'm always making sure I'm getting some form shooting in. All right, first 50 shots. Form shooting. Then we still warming up with some light catch and shoot mid range. Simple. That's two. One more. Then I'm just gonna do catch and shoot from five different spots around the court. But while I was shooting, one of my old assistant coaches pulled up on me to say what's up. That's love. All right, All right I'm gonna see you. Nice to see you, bro. Green. Bro, come on. Come on, bro. You don't be playing with me. Now I'm just working the wing and corner and getting some shots up on the move. As you can see, I'm knocking these shots down, man. This is one of my favorite things to do, man, just working on the move. Now y'all know we gotta end the shooting workout, right? Just getting some combo moves in, working on different bag moves. I'ma be real with y'all boys. I recently just started getting back in the gym this month. I took a little break from basketball because I was hurt and you know, basketball wasn't really it for me at that moment. But right now, I'm focused on getting back to the game that I love. Playing basketball is very therapeutic. It's a way I relieve any stress that I got. So I just love to come in the gym and just put in work. And even if we're not playing on no team or we're not trying to go pro, I still just love to come in and just put in work. For me, it's just a lifestyle. It's just a way of living. That's super tough, bro. That's super tough. I know a lot of hoopers can feel me. But just so you know, now that we're back in the gym, we got a lot of basketball content coming up. So make sure you stay tuned. Y'all see we got 341 shots up. You see we made 0% today. Zero shots made, zero for 341. We getting better. Let, let, let's see if I'm weak or not. Oh. Hey. I'm not gonna lie, I'm, I'm really scared to jump off too, but. Uh. That was weak though. That was weak. I ain't like that. Okay, I got me one. First try. I'm, I can feel I can get way higher, bro. 
I'm scared right now. I'm just scared, but I was late, man. I don't know if it's because we got the Kobe's on, but the knees is feeling good. I can win it, bro. I'm gonna get a win right now. Hell no. <laughs> Alright y'all, so she gonna go ahead and cook while well, I take a shower, man, so I'm gonna pass it off. I'm gonna pass it off to Chef Tay, Chef Taisha, and see what she does. Alright, what are we doing on the menu today? So we're making salmon burgers with um, a side of baked fries and green beans for some veggies. But let me show you guys what it looks like. Just, just looks like this once everything's mixed in together. So we're gonna transfer this onto here, and yeah. Just gonna lay them down flat right here next to the fries. This is a really big sheet pan, so I'm able to get everything all on here. Get in the oven now. And the fries are supposed to be there for 17 to 20 minutes. The green beans probably won't need to be in there for that long, so I'll just check on it periodically and then I'll take the green beans out if need be. Let's see, we got this right here. She thinks she's a chef. She thinks she's a chef. Bro, get out of here. She thinks she's a chef with these her are, little, little my, Mario hat on. These are my chopping skills. I like to make them she can't even cut tomatoes. Thin slices, but she, we, we're what trying. The? Boy, what the? Yo, oh, like spinach, not a tomato. My tomato right now, it's so bad. Boy. So, the fries and the green beans are all done. And right now, I'm making a salmon cake. I just took a bite of a fry and it's hot. All right, y'all. She finally finished after eight hours of cooking. Alright y'all, y'all know we gotta get the good bath, man. <clears throat> Look, shout out Phil Cole for eating and put me onto this juice. This is better than real juice, I ain't gonna lie. All, all natural stuff, no extra sugar, red 40, ain't none of that, man. Uh, this is not real juice. Not real juice, man. Tell you what you think about the juice. It's so good. It's good? Yeah. It's good, man, y'all see it? I'm about to see if she cooked up, man. First off, we gotta pull one up, man. Um, on my homies, man. God, he just made the best. What we got? We got salmon burgers, some fries, green beans. We got tomatoes, pickles. Lettuce. And then we have some. some tartar sauce in there as well. Some organic juice. That's great. Lord, well, thank you for blessing us with the ability to come here and get together. I ask that you continue to bless the people that don't have access to food, that don't have a surplus for food, or opportunities to get that. I thank you for bringing us together and showing us how good you are, and for us to even have the ability to eat whatever we want at any given moment. You know? So I just thank you for bringing us here. I ask that you know that this food nourishes our bodies, and I thank you. I, I pray for my subscribers too. I'm truly grateful for them. But in Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. See it. Dog that plate, man. 
Oh, we got plates. Oh. Now we know what it is, man. Get my pinky out, because I'm fancy. Nutrition is something I'm looking to take more serious as I get older. I want to be able to live a strong, long, and healthy life. I'm not a pro at it yet, but it's something I'm striving to get deeper into and continue to expand my knowledge in. Hopefully you can do the same. Thank you for watching, man. Love, Reek.